Oh, thank you uh, for having me here. I'm a bit of a stunt double fill-in. Uh, you'll see I'm not actually on the programme, but uh, that doesn't uh, detract any, I hope, from what we're about to talk about. So I'm going to talk about uh, one of the hats I wear, which is, this, is the chair of the Little Rubber Rail Trail. And uh, this is a, a role that I've had for the last decade. And uh, in that time, we've become an overnight success um, story. It, uh, in my experience, it takes at least a decade to become an overnight success. And um, so I hope to touch on all of these things. Uh, given the time constraints, I'm going to move very fast over some of them. And uh, we'll linger a little bit more on the users and the lessons and the signs of change uh, at the end. So rail trails, why well, they're a good idea. Um, built on old rail routes, uh, they take you from where you are to where you want to be. This is a really important factor with any transport sort of um, network. Unfortunately, a lot of the cycleways that uh, we've had in recent times uh, take you from where you are possibly to somewhere close to where you want to be via what is often a reasonably pretty but um, oops, uh, not necessarily direct route. So um, the, the nice thing about the old rail corridors is that they actually told you directly from where you were to where you wanted to be. They're well graded, nice scenery usually on the way through, um, pleasant and safe. And the, uh, the kicker in this whole process and why we've become an overnight success is that there are some economic benefits. So the vision for us was to create a, uh, an off-road high quality cycle walkway and uh, that would go from Hornby to Little River. We were the second cab out of the rank, so uh, Central Otago had proved it was possible uh, to do it in the New Zealand environment, and uh, we thought, well, if they can do it, we can too. So uh, that's what we attempted. The route starts uh, on the edge of Hornby. At the moment, it doesn't quite make Hornby because the Southern Motorway is still working its way through. And so once that bit's sorted, uh, we will actually make it into uh, Hornby um, more, hopefully. Prebleton to Lincoln's already in operation, uh, and that was a real turning point for us. Uh, there was something like six people uh, a day using that corridor beforehand. We now have over 40,000 movements a year uh, along that section of trail. Lincoln to Motukarara is still under development. A uh, couple of pinch points in there, um, and uh, a number of partners that we're relying on uh, work to come from. Uh, ECAN being one of the most significant ones there. The first section we opened was along the old rail corridor as it was still preserved. Uh, in the process of hacking up the rail network and trying to destroy it entirely, uh, that happened uh, some years ago. Uh, most of the corridor through here was sold off, uh, but this bit was retained by the Department of Conservation, and so we were working with them to, to get that bit open. And then we've got the chunk into Little River itself, which also sits on that piece of preserved corridor. So uh, different sections that we've operated, let's cut to the pictures, that's what we uh, saw beforehand and uh, we had a couple of people come along to the opening day, about 2000 in fact, um, and uh, one of my other hobby horses is uh, riding bicycles that don't uh, look necessarily like uh, regular upright bicycles, I was given the privilege of leading the procession out um, I stayed in front a oh, good 20 or 30 metres past the bridge. And then I was passed by um, a large number of um, young enthusiastic people who uh, were out racing. The other thing that you find when you start projects like this is that um, people ring you up and say things like, we've got a railway station sitting on our place, would you like it back? Uh, so there's the railway station in question. Uh, we said yes, that would be good. The local Rotary Club picked up the, um, the, the baton. Uh, restored it, plonked it on the, the site, and then the gentleman there is Noel Shatsky. Noel's kind of adopted it, and uh, there is any amount of um, rail paraphernalia that's found its way to the site, uh, the wagons and everything, all part of uh, Noel's restoration of what's going on there. So um, the, the help that you get comes out of nowhere often. We had a number of bridges that we needed to replace. Um, a couple of bridges were actually there when we started the project, but uh, hardwood timber is quite valuable, so um, they departed. But we've managed to put them back, so that's been quite helpful. What we've found. 
Uh, we've had about 200,000 users uh, since we opened in 96. Um, slight majority of them are female. Um, just about everybody cycles, given the distances and things involved. Uh, given that we were only two years into it when this uh, information was gathered, we've had a lot of first-time users. Most people travel in packs. Uh, it's a, a very um, gregarious sort of activity, the cycling business. And half of the people bought something, which was quite an achievement given that uh, there were only two places to buy something. Both of them were about 4K off the track at the time. So um, there's definitely an economic benefit there, and 75% of people wanted to ride a bit further. Challenges, really it all comes down to change reaction. People hate change. So um, what we've learned, uh, you need to provide lots of good information uh, but require no immediate decision. Be very, very clear about your vision um, and quite uncompromising on the vision, but uh, you can certainly work with the detail in and around it. Uh, you need lots of different media to carry the message and nobody will actually hear anything you say until they start talking about it down at the local or discussing it with friends over the fence. That's when people actually register to what it is you're talking about. Uh, when you get an agreement with uh, all these various parties, you need to ratchet in what you've done. So we found MOUs uh, and minute taking to be very powerful. It's also uh, powerful people like success stories and they like aligning themselves with success stories. We've got a Prime Minister that's aligning himself with the story of rail trails um, for that very reason. So um, yeah, it's, it's useful to, to have success and build on it. And we need to uh, as use established organisations. There are a lot of community um, focus groups out there that we can leverage off. Uh, robust structures, uh, particularly when you're asking for grant money, you've got to have that charter and corporation and audit account structures. And uh, it really helps to have one person doing this as your day job. So, uh, and help comes from all over the place. So the signs of change we've seen. As I said, we had two trails originally. Uh, since then, we've now got a suite of great rides. I believe there's one opening this weekend in St. James Station, Department of uh, Cranky It Up. The business case real simple. Um, these tourists, they're a niche, they're a pretty small niche, less than 2% of the people that come here, they stay 50% longer and they spend twice as much. They're really nice tourists to have. The other thing is they spend money with New Zealand businesses because it's the B&Bs and, and those sorts of things that sit in around the likes of the Central Otago Trail. Um, the recreational cycle use, there's um, some numbers was rattled off before, uh, has continued to climb over the last wee while, but we do have a generation that have forgotten how to bike, and so uh, these sorts of facilities are a stepping stone back to um, the nirvana that is uh, cycling. And we're also seeing that in around schools, walking school buses, the big rigs, which is the, the equivalent with um, cycles and uh, biking travel plans. We've uh, achieved a lot over the last 10 years, uh, most of it due to the help of these people here. So I need to say a big thank you to um, particularly our platinum sponsors, but uh, there have been a large number of people that have lent a hand all the way through this process and continue to do so. So um, we're very grateful to them <coughs> for their support and continued enthusiasm around the trail. So that's it from me. If you haven't yet, I'd encourage you to get out there and hike it, bike it and like it. <laughs>